Crespo. All right, coming up next, it's a welterweight showdown between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. Well, you hear the pop from the crowd, DC, as Nate Diaz gets set to make this walk here tonight. You never know when it's going to be the last time we see this guy compete, but there's a lot to like when we see Nate Diaz in the octagon. Nate Diaz is a savage, a guy that just epitomizes fighter from the attitude, the walk, the music. Everything tells you that when Nate Diaz shows up, you're getting ready to watch a fight. A fantastic striker and a great jiu-jitsu practitioner. Yep. Nate Diaz is just a well-rounded fighter and one of the biggest stars in the UFC. We've seen the Stockton slap before. I'll set the total. It's just so disrespectful. Over under one and a half. So you think he throws it tonight? It's just so disrespectful, <laughs> but it's so Nate Diaz. All right, we'll see if he invokes the Stockton slap here tonight. But Nate Diaz is back and hopefully in a big way for his supporters around the world. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like yeah, Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. Tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. McGregor is 32, Diaz is 35. He is three inches taller. He will have a two inch reach. Superstars in mixed martial arts today. How good is this? Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. The question beckons, though, will this fight look different than the previous two? Well, it has to. If you're Whoa! He's got him hurt. Here. Oh, he might be out. 
tries to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he gets that weapon going early, could be trouble. Yeah, he starts touching you with the jab over and over again. And then when he starts to let that right hand fly, you start to see real big reactions from his opponent. So just over 20 total strikes. Under three minutes to go in round one. options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just... Post your hands. Don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this in the octagon. No, I, I can't get those <laughs> legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like to grind. That's what I'm known for, but this guy, has that dexterity, he has that ability to throw up the rubber guard, to be able to threaten from a position where his opponent was trying to find safety. There are many, many attacks here. Let's see which one he chooses to go after. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is up a point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Round two, Conor McGregor you ready to fight? versus Nate ready. Diaz. Punch over the top. Nice job by Conor McGregor navigating distance here, and he's done a pretty good job overall, DC, navigating his celebrity. He can't go anywhere in his native Ireland without getting stopped by somebody, but he has really focused on his craft. The work ethic has never waned, and McGregor appears to be in great shape here tonight. He's got to mix things up a bit more. Get some strikes to the body already. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. So we lean on the numbers here. 47 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. And connecting with 62% accuracy, by the way, against Nate Diaz. And he landed the right hand there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Conor McGregor gets tagged by that stiff jab. Three minutes and change to go in round two. And as effective a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. 
Well, the Octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. His stamina has been a huge issue to him. It's abandoned him, but he did it. He tried. He fought as hard as he could for as long as he could. Now it's about survival. Diaz is fantastic takedown. And there's the single leg. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Diaz working on a submission. work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. All right, All right dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can up. attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, round three coming up next. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. Thought we might see a finish in the previous round. Had a submission attempt, but was unable to Wasn't able to finish the fight. Credit to his opponent having really, really good submission defense. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Whiffs on the elbow. Nice kick. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. Nice punch by Diaz. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that dude. Well, good news, bad news, right? The strike there lands, but just not much steam on it because his gas tank seems... Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, it's all pacing. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on up. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He blocks the punch. Looked like he might have... Oh! Tagged him with that right hand. What? Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. 